Hey everybody, welcome back to JIB. So in the past few days, I was getting a lot of requests to cover one of the most asked question, which is what is the day-to-day -day activity of a Java developer? Now, if you are a Java developer and if you are having experience between one to five years, then there are chances that you may face this question in any other interview. In this video, I will give you some basic idea how you can answer this question. I will use some samples as well, and I am sure that by the end of this video, you will be able to construct an answer for yourself as well so make sure you watch this video till the very end and please leave a like as well if you are liking this type of content so we have a question which is what is your day-to-day -day activity as a java developer like my other videos i will explain with some points our first point is checking the mails you can tell this point in this way in my organization when i log in the first thing i usually do is checking the mails now despite the popularity of messaging services like Slack, Teams or Google Chat, mails will be always a preferred way for corporate communication. That is why you should always check your mails first thing in the morning. In the mails, you, you get various kind of information or notifications. Let's suppose your manager or your team lead or your client wants to communicate with you. They will always prefer mails or messages. If your client wants to share some insight over the requirement, understanding then they will always prefer mails also in many companies they have compliance training on regular basis so you will get notifications for those compliance trainings as well if you have any pending trainings or not another example would be suppose you are working on any story any Jira story if there is any update on that story you will get mail for that as well that is why checking the mails is so so important one more example is if you are deploying your services on jenkin pipelines maybe and if the pipeline is failed or build is failed then again you will get notification on your mail about that so i always recommend you to check your mails first thing in the morning next point is checking the storyboard so you have to answer something like this after checking my mails I check the storyboard as well. Now what is storyboard and why it is so important? Usually companies nowadays following the agile model. Earlier it was SDLC model but now everybody is using agile. While using agile you may have followed scrum framework on Kanban framework anyone. It depends on company to company. But the point is while using these frameworks one thing is common that you have a storyboard and that storyboard is used to maintain all the ticket numbers and the progress regarding those tickets. So it is very important to check the storyboard as well to check the progress of your tickets and to understand the requirements from there. Now after checking the storyboard the next point you can tell that you attend the scrum meeting or daily meeting or daily stand up meeting. As I earlier mentioned that if you are following agile model and scrum or Kanban framework you used to have a daily stand up meeting in which there will be a scrum master who will organize the meeting there will be a product owner as well and in that meeting teammates generally developers share the, their status with the product owner teammates discuss their doubts with each other to resolve each other's query and suppose if you are having any difficulty to understand the requirement you can discuss that as well with the product owner so you can tell these things as well and suppose if you are working as a scrum master because in small teams what happens some developers takes the role of scrum master as well for short period of time so if you have done that you can tell that as well the next point is after attending the meeting I start my regular work so this will be a long point because in this point you must explain everything which is happening in the entire day so for example you can explain that you are working on a story whichever is assigned to you and then you can tell that you are creating classes services resources according to the requirement and then you are also handling the production issues on priority basis after writing the code you are also writing the test cases as well you are also maintaining the code coverage and after that you are deploying your application on the test environment you are connecting with the tester in your team to check if your changes is currently working fine or not you are checking the jenkin pipelines or kubernetes as well if the build is failing or not and if the build is success or not after that you can add few points like you are helping the junior developers to resolve their queries you are giving the kt to new joiners you can modify this point according to your project and according to your daily work you can list down all the work and add those points as well the next point is filling the timesheet 
you may be thinking that this is a very small point companies uses time sheet for many reasons including project management budgeting measuring the productivity measuring the vacation days so time sheet is actually very essential if you tell that you are filling the time sheet on regular basis then this will give the interviewer a basic idea that how punctual you are with your work and this will be a plus point for you if you add this point as well and at the last you have to tell that uh, you check the mails before signing off for the day as i earlier mentioned in one of my previous point that uh, mails are so important those same thing will apply for this point as well so you can tell that you check your mails before logging off or signing off for the day and this is your usually day to day 